chopsticks. Chinese, you, you can eat chopsticks. <laughs> the rest of us will have food. How about that? All the takeaway junk food you want for the next three days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not a fruit or vegetable will pass your lips. Don't oh, you worry. I like apples. Eh? Well, you're not having any apples. They're banned. <gasps> Steph managed the school run pretty well, but I knew I could do better the next day. I made a mental note to pick up a cattle prod and a lasso on the way home. I'm going to make notes about you so that I know exactly what to do. First of all, what are your interests? Put her by the sink. She loves playing by the sink. Do you like being by the sink, Megan? Ah. You do? That's a yes. OK. So I like being by the sink. And do you like being a long way away from the sink, nowhere near the sink at all? Oh. <laughs> Is that a yes again? That's a yes again. <laughs> right. What about being equidistant between the sink and... Ah. Yeah, oh, right, no. yes. <laughs> Fine. It's not really a great deal to worry about Megan, as long as she changes her nappy when she needs a new nappy. No, you can forget that. I'm only here for a couple of days, so she can... <laughs> just she's the same she's just going to have to hold out. <laughs> Shall I show you around the house? And see where yeah. everyone, everyone sleeps and all their clothes are and things? Yeah, that'd be good. Adult speed. Mm. Oh, I like the floor. Did you this paint this a... yourself? You've done a very good job. <laughs> Did you paint it with bare feet by any chance and stand in a little bit of paint? You did. <laughs> Could have happened to anyone. After Megan's instructive guided wow. tour, I'd been hoping to put my feet up. Hobnobs, daytime TV, Sudoku, manicures. But before I knew it, Steph was on her way back to the school. Operation, pick up one of the kids. Played on pots. Two pots. Did you? And Play-Doh. One. And two. <laughs> well, you've had quite a day. You must be exhausted. I'm coming the front. <laughs> right, I'm going to make exactly the same fuss when I get in the other side. <laughs> I am. Oh, no. oh, just shut that sound out. No. No, it's no better on this side. The ace of spades! The ace of spades! How's that going down, Megan? Well, not terrible. But apparently, Steph expected me to do housework for real when I took over. Yeah. Wash breakfast dishes, make beds, clean the bathroom, hoover everywhere, wash kitchen floor and hall. I'll give it, give it a go, just, just, yeah, nice smooth action. Sort out laundry, put wash on, dryer on, put away dry clothes. Make lunch, wash up more laundry, prepare veg for tea, play with Gwenny and Meg. Beep, 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 Dust if necessary, any other miscellaneous jobs, gardening, tidying outside, sewing, painting. Pick up kids, make tea, eat about 5.30, then wash up, take Rodri, Gwen and Meg for bath about 6.15, 6.30, clean loo while kids in bath. Right, just pull it all off and, and if you could just throw it. That's right. That's a big help. Megan and Gwen to bed about 7, Dan, Katie and Roddy do homework, tidy up lounge, 8.30, Roddy goes to bed, 9.30, Dan and Katie to bed, see if Jade and Ryan got any dirty washing and put wash on, sit down, fall asleep. That's a hell of a list. Do you know the worst thing about it is doing it over and over again? It's all right doing it now and again. Doing yeah, well, I'm only doing it now and again, you know that. It's one, <laughs> one day only, that's me. Steph headed back to school to collect the rest of her flange of kids, and I tagged along again. In a bid to look useful, I tried to mow the school grass with Megan. So I'm supposed to be going across country with this. Trying to steer this thing is it's like it's like a dodgy supermarket trolley. All right, Daniel. That's three. We're in business. In truth, I was impressed with how cool, calm, and collected Steph had been all day. I'd only been Mummy's little helper, and that was exhausting enough. Oh, oh. oh the pen. Okay. Got everything? Got everything you need? A busy afternoon highlighting yourself? Bye then. I headed home Bye. to look up parenting on the internet and enjoy a last night of freedom. Tomorrow it was my turn to be Steph. School run to school run for 24 hours I'd be Mum. I was bricking it. Say hello to Mummy. Morning. Ready? I am. <laughs> as ready as I will ever be. They're I've all seen, yours. I've, why are you all standing on things? That's it. Fall in the line. I'm going to have you like the Von Trapp family later. The most important thing is you don't leave any of the kids at school late. I'm feeling horribly underprepared. In at the deep end. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to learn as I go along. Yeah. And I will 
endeavour to leave you with the same number of kids as you started. <laughs> Is everyone ready for school? Yes. Uh, we're going in that red, my red van today. <laughs> I know. There we are. How's that? Nobody forgotten anything? Listen, I've got a very precious cargo. It's not you. It's in the boot. I'm going shopping once I've dropped you off. What do you need? We need some pink gloves. You want what? Alcohol. Alcohol? Yeah. What, what do you want? Oh, no. He's not allowed alcohol. Of course. Strict in your house, isn't it? No, he's only four. Good job you pointed that out. Right. And you all know where you're going. You get in there. Oh, see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, Megan, don't you? You're staying with me. Oh, you're going to miss the others. It's just us two, right? Isn't it? Just us two. That's the car. Just us two for the rest of the day. It's only been one hour. I've sacrificed one hour. And I'm already mildly resentful. But there were times when I could almost see why someone would want kids. Oh, that is exciting. Just occurred to me this second that for the first time in my life I can go in the mother and toddler. And I always use it anyway, but I can go in there legitimately. No, I don't. Calm down. It's a cliche that kids don't come with instructions. Should we ever go in the trolley? This one didn't come with a remote control either. Are you supposed to face this way or that way? Is that where you're supposed to be? I was already wishing I'd kept the receipt. In this one? We've tried this one really, haven't we? We're going over old ground here a bit. I've got no idea what we're going to buy, have you? Have you got a list, Megan? So, I've never been in this supermarket. Do you know your way around? What's that? Yeah, it's a seven-inch digital photo frame. I'm not sure we need that. What's that? Almond croissants. It's a bit continental, isn't it? Where are you going now with the almond croissants? You remember Gwenny, your sister? We have to pick her up at half past eleven. We are. Time is running out. We need to get pizzas and get them fast. Can you find pizza bases, Megan? I thought I'd explained the urgency of the situation and that Megan had understood. But the pressure of shopping for nine when you can only see the bottom shelf was proving too much for her. And my inexperience was starting to show. John, look at these. Oh! I don't know why I thought a French pastry was going to work. There was nothing I could do. Money, sweets, hang gliding lessons. Megan refused every bribe I offered. She wanted real mum back. Of course, Steph was always only a few minutes away, and with Megan's lungs, she was well within earshot. There's a handover. I'm handing back okay. for a few minutes. That's fine. And then once I've done that, I'll take her back over. Yeah. Cool. Salad. Kids like salad. Either they like it, or it'll serve as a punishment. I've got absolutely no idea how much nine people eat. I've just lobbed stuff in. Have you got kids? I have two grown-up daughters. Hello. Yeah. Any advice? Show them who's the boss. Ah, can't even show this bag who's boss. <laughs> My period of grace was over all too quickly, and Megan was as keen to come back to me as I was to have her back. It's a bit like an aubergine. You know they exist. You're not quite sure what to do with them. That's how I feel about Megan. <laughs> Hello. You. I miss you, and I see you. We haven't cheered up a lot, have we? <laughs> Our little misunderstanding in the supermarket, now just a distant memory. We hit it off like old friends. I've done the party. I'm coming round there. I'm coming in. Megan was really tired. I thought a lullaby might help. The ace of spades! The ace of spades! Come on, Megan. As we go to pick up Gwenny from nursery, motorhead seemed to have worked. I'll do blocking someone's house, but we're not going to be long. Everywhere's mother and toddler parking. I only hoped Gwenny was still there. I was pretty late. Lost the car keys, but I've got to get the kid. That's the most important. Hiya. What? I'm sorry, are you waiting? How's it going? <laughs> All right, so we're hanging in there. Okay. Hello, Granny. <coughs> Hello. Oh, are you all right? What's wrong? Oh, 
come now, you know. <laughs> Whenever anybody else cries, Megan starts crying through some kind of osmosis, sort of uh, empathy, I guess it is. It's very sweet. Uh, and I'll start doing a bit of laundry and cooking and cleaning, all the things Mummy normally does. You want to help me do that, do the housework? You not got a bag, uh, Megan? Is that enough? That's enough, okay. Uh, 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 it's ready. There we are. That's lunch for Megan sorted. How much milk do you want? Uh, four. Right, four milks. Where does the milk go? Where's the fridge, Megan? Over there? No, it's over there, right. Opposite direction. Shall I hoover while you have lunch, Megan? You sit on there. Right, I am going to mop the floor now. Who's excited? Yeah! I've never taken to mopping. There's the people who mop, and there's people who don't mop, isn't there? Yes. Yes, yeah, I did it. Oh. Oh, I want you. I want you to run now. All right, I've got quite a lot of mopping to do, so... Uh. Give me a little whistle while we work. Can you? Thank you for absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go. Some more laundry. Can you call for help? That's it. Good girl, Granny. You tidying up the toys? Laundry, washing powder. Is there a frisbee in the washing machine? I've got no idea what that, what all those things are for. And I think you pressed that one. There just weren't enough mum hours in the day. But by some amazing evolutionary process, I was learning. I was becoming a real mum, dad, parent thing. I was even learning to speak Megan. Megan? Do you like onion? Pepper? Mushroom? Tomato and basil pizza topping? Just tomato pizza topping? I'll, I'll fish the basil out of it. Pepperoni? Ah. Salami? Ah. Prosciutto? No prosciutto. You know what's going to happen now, don't we? Megan, you give it again. Whoa! In. <laughs> Hello. Ow. This is amazing. This is, the, this is the first. I haven't even seen this with Steph. That's very, very different from the car seat experience that we've had so far. My confidence soaring, I headed back to school for the last time that day. And being totally down with this parenting thing, I turned up early. I even had time for mum banter. So what do you think then? Being yeah. a mum. Is it good? Hard. It is hard. I will clean the loo. We'll clean the loo. Proper clean the loo as well. In proper testing. Proper testing, proper conditions. I've got a really strong stomach now after all these years. Have you? Oh, no, I don't yes. have a strong stomach. I can't even sit in the back of a car. How are you doing? High fives. And where's the others? Gwenny! Gwenny, where are you going? Right, how many have we got? Rodri, come on, I've got to take three of you home. If I don't take you, I'll take a different one. All right, everyone ready at home? Who, who fancies pizza? Me! Is that what we got? Maybe. Oh, can I stay this side, guys? Megan, start us off with the Ace of Spades, new family song. Sing it, ready? Ace of Spades! The Ace of Spades! As a trainee mum cooking for nine, dinner had gone well. But in my other role as woman and temporary wife, I found myself getting upset. My selfish, thoughtless husband had gone to the pub. What's been the highlight? Hoovering, mopping, seeing the smiles on their little faces. That's been the highlight of today. The inevitable has happened with Megan. It's basically a mini crisis in those trousers. That's a good idea. We'll just put you in the cupboard. Matthew's wife, what's the brush for? I have to brush the worst of it up. Are you sure you don't put newspapers down? No. This is a 